it's about uniting the black, you know, the global black community. It's about us working together to our strengths, and that's what we're trying to do here. So we created this platform to showcase what Africa has best to offer, not just on the basketball court, but in the creative industry. So ultimately, we are going to take this platform and also link it to the rest of the world. Uh, for us, I think we can have one single trade currency on the continent in your time that is one-to-one, -one equal. It's a, such a great equalizer. Um, you know, in listening to the prior panel and people talking about payments and the like, it reminded me of why I left banking and joined sports. <laughs> Africa was always, you know, uh, my motivation. And I try to explain to people, you know, basketball, I use it as a tool to get to a point where I want people to know more about me, more about my story, more about where I came from. Eventually, if you want to be competitive, you're going to have to begin to actually demonstrate that you need something about that. And that message resonates. Uh, when we talk about soft power, a lot of it's about telling stories, about controlling narratives, creating narratives. You know, they talked about how you need to have a narrative for the banks. We're going to be talking financing innovation and creative power, redefining infrastructure and shaping a modern economy. The one big thing that I would say is missing is the skills of the sector to actually put forward proposals to people like us, banks, to actually get them to finance. I'm very happy to talk about the money because it's important. <laughs> <laughs> we need it, everybody else needs it, but it's not the end. It is only the means uh, to another end that I think is much more important. If you have something someone else wants, you have a mean to develop economic gain. What is more important, whether, you know, what you've built is more important or whether it's money. And I chose what I built. Well, you are here and that is exactly what we want. But we have to rethink the big plan. Our population is uneducated. The fastest way to propel them is through creative industry and technology. Politics also responds to pressure. And so if there's no pressure, we're going to be relaxed. There has to be a collaboration with the private sector. And this is what you were saying. There's a dual effort that's required. The private sector cannot do any, everything on their own when they don't have the public support. It's just not possible. And so it's really important as we're talking to government, as we're talking to planners, that we take this into consideration. African leagues, African athletes need to be able to take ownership of their data because it's going to be so valuable. We need to be in a situation we have to be self-sufficient first before relying on other people to come in. Yes, yeah, so I think women need, um, so there is a lot of potential that we have uh, in business and we need to figure out those mechanisms to unlock that potential. We have an opportunity over the next 20 years to position Africa properly, to tell the world who we are. It's about saying that no, Africa can be repositioned globally correctly. The opportunity is now.